Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We're on to our next SMG. We've got two, in fact. The American 180 and American 90. Both very similar. Both, as you can tell, kind of based on the Thompson design. But they are in 22 long rifle. <laughs> they fire angry bees. And their angry bees come in these giant drum magazines. I believe they are 90 and 180 respectively. And they will fit on each other. So you can use either one. Let's check them out. Take a look at the controls at the 180 full-size version. Left on the trackpad will engage and disengage the safety. You've got safe and full auto. There is no semi-auto position. You've got your bolt handle here. You've got it. charge it once there. And you've got your firing pin there when you pull the trigger. And here's your four grippable area. And that's about it. Here's the American 90. We've got a rail on the top and a folding stock. Looks like the sights are... Actually, it looks like the sights are the same. Here's your bolt handle. There's your firing pin. Whee! <laughs> the bullets will come out of the bottom, which is kind of nice and handy, considering how many there are. Same as the American 180. We've got left on the trackpad for safe and fire. Only full auto. There's no semi-position. Here is our smaller magazine. This is the 84 round magazine and the larger magazine. That is the 165 round magazine, but they will both go on both guns. You can put the big one on the small gun and the small one on the big gun if you would like. It does not lock open on empty and it does not have a mag release pushing down the trackpad does nothing so you have to manually take out the drum magazine take out a new magazine and manually rack the bolt again to begin firing there you go see what attachments will fit on the 180 is that a rail no so no rails very thompson looking thing no lasers no red dots let's take a look at the and there, can you put a muzzle brake on? Yes, you can. Give me it back, please. Thank you. How about a suppressor? Yes, making the barrel quite long. See about a rail device on the muzzle? Yes, we can do that. How about a barrel extension? Yep, it takes all that good stuff. And of course, got a spatula. Can you put a foregrip on the foregrip area? No. And it already has a very big stock, so no extra stock. Let's see what we can do with the 90 version, much smaller. Looks like it's got a rail. Yes, lovely little top rail, so you can put your red dots up there if you so choose. How about anywhere else? Nope, just that top position. Let's look at the muzzle brake. Yes, put it on the barrel. How about, let's say, the suppressor. That's usually the next one we try. Yep. Works just fine. The rail adapter is good. The barrel extension is good. We are all good. Spatula, of course. How about, well, it's already got a foregrip on there, so you don't need an extra one. And it's already got, well, it's got a small baby folding stock, but you can't put an extra one on. Let's take a look at that folding stock. Very Mac 10 looking folding stock, isn't it? There we go. Ooh, it does get right up in your eyes. We're gonna see that in this. Oh, it's got a, it's got a little floating sight there. A little creative model magic. There you go, at least you got a rail. Back to the 180, let's look at these sights. Hey, yeah, it's not too bad. We've got a nice little circly ring. Big, giant front post. Can't miss that one. Uh, it is kind of hard to kind of figure out where this is gonna go, and the stock, strangely the stock seems to end like there. My shoulder, my virtual shoulder, is ending up kind of halfway in there, so this is pulling it up right in my eye, even if I push my hands really far out away from my body. So this is kind of, kind of awkward. I don't know, maybe it's not too bad. Let's see where the point of aim is on these sights. I'm kind of confused. Yeah, it's in the middle, so you gotta try to figure out how to get that that front post in the middle. Where of the middle may be. So there's no indicator of where the middle is, but uh, you gotta guess, and they are not adjustable sights. Looking at the 90, 
Yep, ooh, that re really get that stock up in you. So I got to hold this out in front of me, even though the stock is folded out. So this is very, ah, uh, this is very awkward. So same sights, this one's right up in your grill. Recoil test, 84 rounds of 22 long rifle. Now we're gonna start with the 180 full auto. Here we go. Well, started a li little off the target, I'd say. Nines, I think that's just the sights. 9.33 average though, let's get this up in my face here and see what we're looking at. Oh my God. Well, for full auto, that's pretty great recoil. Can't get much better than that. Uh, it'd be nice if I'd pulled that down just a smidge, we'd have a higher number, but regardless, it looks like there's very little vertical deviation, a little bit horizontal here. So, very little recoil. Right with the muzzle brake on the end. Whoa, lovely, 9.45. I don't think it really improved the recoil much at all because it wasn't too bad to begin with. Still had a lot of horizontal sliding around. Uh, so that's a little unfortunate. Do the suppressor. <laughs> Hilarious sounding. 965. That did feel better than the muzzle brake. Uh, it didn't seem to have as much uh, left, right, or vertical deviation. Let me bring that in close. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't seem to bounce up and down as much, and it looked like it kept it even better left to right. So that really helped. Moving on to the 90. I'm going to do it with the stock folded first, and then we'll do it unfolded. Whoa, all over the place, 671, but uh, as you can see, it really kicked up and then wobbled all over the place. Ooh, pretty uncontrollable. All right, let's do it with the stock unfolded. That's how you're gonna use it anyway. Yeah, substantially better. It did wiggle around in the beginning and then settle down after about 20 or 30 rounds. Uh, <laughs> 948, so about the same as the 180. Put the muzzle brake on there, see what we get. That still felt pretty wiggly. 952, not really improvement. Improvement. <laughs> Neither of those things. See what the suppressor does? It helped the 180 quite a bit. Let's see what it does here. Not too bad. What do we get? Nine, four, eight, about the same. It seemed to keep it in a tighter cone, though. There you have it, the American 180 and American 90. Lots and lots of angry, angry bees. Till next time, I will see ya. Lots of fun, that's for sure.